Watch your tape, Penny! Don't steal our young'uns! Rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them with a pot. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. Brene, the mage, says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now, tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Why do you want the lamp? You just witnessed why. To communicate with lost souls. Didn't know you were interested in that kind of magic. There's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Why did the elf promise you the lamp? We traded for it. He needed powerful magic, and sensed I was no common wart charmer. I brewed him a potion to delay nervous tissue degeneration, stave off memory loss or some such. Who do you want to use it on? He didn't say. Bet the old witch who lived here left you a bunch of interesting sundries. She did indeed. I gather you'd like a look. Very much so. you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The Cursed Isle on Lake Windammer. You've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How'd it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Pserag, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. 
It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. Why are you so intent on this? I'm not. The local peasantry is. The Isle, miss. You've got to lift the charm. You're a good witch, a great witch. There's no end to it. Uh-huh. See, I thought you didn't care for the locals. The great witch you are. I failed to lift the curse, and they could conclude I'm not so great. Not enough to conceal me from the witch hunters and risk getting sent to the gallows themselves. What others think. Your image. That's all you care about. The point is, listen, I didn't flee to these wilds just to stupidly get caught because some boar with grit under his fingernails grows annoyed with me. So the peasants who went to the island for food, this lord had them murdered? The villagers say he had them poisoned. The real gentleman? Hmm. Well, I never met him, but he certainly didn't seem such a cruel man, judging by what a mage from the Isle told me. A mage lived on the island? Did you know him? Where is he now? We were friends. Sadly, he died that day as well. Very few survived. Yet even those who escaped the Isle soon suffered agonizing deaths. Strangely, they did not seem to have been poisoned. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. Can't you just come with me? I tried to go to Fikeyle once. Thought my head would burst, the curse's magic was so strong. Nice of you to send me there. I experienced an acute nasal hemorrhage. You stand to endure a wobble of your medallion at most. At Aratusa, they trained me to detect even the subtlest magic pulses. This was like getting smacked across my haunches with a grain flail. Funny. Thought you'd go in for that sort of thing. Take my boat. I left it on the lake shore near the village. Should be fit to use, provided Rot hasn't eaten it, as it seems to eat everything here. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something uh, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um. I suppose I should warn you, it might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later, maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. Never heard of a Xenovox. It works just like a megascope, but is far more portable. Think of it as a magic box that talks. They hard to build? Extremely. That's why they're so rare. I certainly couldn't build anything like it. So no chance these Xenovoxes will catch on with every mage using one? Not the slightest. So where'd you get the Xenovox? Found it in the mine along with the lamp. Thought it was part of the lamp at first. Didn't realize what I'd actually found until later. Think it belonged to the Elven Mage? Clearly. And I didn't even know the Elves used them. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Fire Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. <clears throat> Thank you. Let's go!
Can you hear me? How close is it? Where are you? Almost there. Splendid. I shall contact you again soon. Wait. This Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful.
me what you got. Not your lucky day. Let's try Kira's lamp. Come on! Thank <laughs> you. 
They left us. Look, all of them done went. We've just swim. Come on. What about all this? We can't leave it. You go. Find a boat and come back for me. If you make it across. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Be back before you know it. To us. They'll not let Graham in! Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, likely be gobbling meat. <laughs> We've no notion we's coming to tear him to shreds. Way's clear, lads. Adam! Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie! M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So what? Uh, burn it! Ah. What? No. No, stay back! Don't leave me!
peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. The place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on... Look, Geralt, stop. You needn't be so detailed. That noble. Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! Folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, that stench! Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'll not hear of them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower.
Still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. 